right, now today we're going to be showing you how to use uh, our premium pergola cover. Uh, it's called Top Gal. Basically, this is a standing seam design. You can see by the, uh, the structure of the sheet, the, the standing seam design. So it's got basically these ridges on the sides. So when you put it together, it pops through. There's no screws that go through the sheet on this one. Now, uh, this is an 8 mil. It comes brawn, clear, or ice. Same color as our standard grade. Uh, this is used uh, basically on a pergola setup to where you're on the purlins or the stripping. So I have the, basically the top of the pergola kind of set up here, small 8x8 eight eight size uh, where we have the, the stripping going across and basically we frame it out that way. So uh, everything that you will need to do this is uh, set up. So we have our sheets themselves. And then we have our caps that we're going to cut when we get the exact length. We have our covers, our flute covers, our smaller flute covers, and our U-profile over there. We have our screws for the, the sides, the clips for the profile of the sheet, and our pancake screws in the Ziploc bag there that hold the clips down. And then we have some vanity pieces, uh, end covers, and U-profile uh, covers at the end. Uh, regular tools needed, your rubber mallet, circular saw, a little putty knife, and your vent tape. Uh, and then of course a drill, regular Phillips head, and a hex head bit for both of the screw types. So first what we're gonna do, looking at our structure, is we measure out the length, and then we add an inch to this. And that inch gives an overhang, it's basically a drip edge, so the water will not pool on the bottom of the structure itself, it comes off the edge. So we have already pre-trimmed these sheets to come in uh, a little bit over an inch on the length. And on a structure like this, what you want to check before you put in uh, you know, our premium grade product is the width of the structure. So these panels come in at 23 and 5 eighths inches. So basically that's from edge to edge, 23 and 5 eighths. So that's why it's a lot more conducive to run it on stripping or purlins than it is on the rafters themselves, especially if it's a, a prefab structure. So uh, that way you don't have to move the rafters to a certain spot. Uh, you can hit a clip on all of these. Now the maximum spacing you wanna go between the stripping is 36 inches. Um, and that gives you basically enough for wind, load, everything to, to keep the sheets on. Uh, the more clips you put, the higher it's rated for wind load. So that's really your call. Minimum is 36 inches. Uh, so the first thing that we do now that we have it measured is we check for square. Square you measure from corner to corner on both ends. If they match, you've got a square structure. If one diagonal is longer, basically you do your measurements to bring it in or fix the structure. If you bring your measurements in, then you just know what is square on the structure. You can drop a tape line uh, to mark it. Uh, if that is the case, instead of having to rip those sheets to a certain length and not know, you would start in the middle of the structure. Now this structure is square, but what we're going to start doing is starting in the middle anyways. If you have a square structure, you're more than welcome to start on one end, trim off the, the little up profile on the side of the sheet, and then just start from the end. And you'll see how we secure that on. So like I said, this is installed with clips. Uh, we already have the sheets pre-cut to the length that we need, and that's one inch overall for the length. Um, so first what we're gonna do is prep the sheets. So on prepping the sheets, you will notice there is tape on both sides. You have a regular gray on the bottom side, and then you have your printed on the top. Another nice thing about this product is you can't install it upside down because these, these ridges have to be pointed up. So whenever we prep this sheet, basically what we'll do is take take this gray tape, peel it back a little bit to still protect the sheet until we actually are ready to screw it down. And we do this on both sides. Now the gray, the bottom, that's just a protective layer. The top is a protective layer, but this side we leave on till the very end. That's the side that's exposed to the sun. That's the UV coated side. So we leave that on for as long as possible, not to, uh, to get it scratched or dented or anything. Uh, and if you get this out to your job site before, just make sure it's covered. Make sure to protect it from rain, water, you know, uh, anything like that so it does not get into the flutes. So what I'm going to grab is my vent tape. 
All right, so I got the film peeled back on the top and the bottom. You'll see these open flutes. Now this is what we want to protect. Uh, this is the prep work on the sheets. Uh, so we just get our vent tape. You'll see the white line on the bottom. That's where you center it on the flute. So I just pre-cut this to uh, two feet to hit the panel. And then I just start on one side, hit that white line straight through, peel back the, the film on the back of the tape, and then you just fold it over as you go. So now we have the protected tape on the end, uh, and then we'll just do it all throughout the end. All right, so now that we got the vent tape on the top and bottom, the open flute ends of all four of our sheets, for the top and bottom, which are still the open flute ends, we have these uh, pre-cut flute covers, and they have cutout spots for the actual raised portion of the standing seam design. Uh, so basically what you'll do is you'll get these for the top and the bottom, and you'll just start working it on. So whenever you first get it on on the corner, you just kind of push down that sheet, the short end goes up and you'll notice some pre-drilled weep holes and of course those go to the bottom. So if anything, condensation or anything gets stuck in there, it has a place to breathe out. So you just work it on and it fits perfect towards the edge of the sheet. And you can kind of wiggle it down if you need it just a little bit more, but you see how it fits in there. So we'll do that on both ends. I'm gonna grab one more and do it on the top. Now, like I said earlier, since we're gonna act like we're gonna start from the middle of this structure, uh, depending on the squareness, we're just gonna peel the bottom film off. we're ready to put the first sheet on to the structure itself. Now, what I'm going to show you all here is the clip up close. So this is a clip and you can see how it goes on. Two sides are curved in and that way it pops down over that ridge and locks in and when you put in your next sheet it just butts up against it. But you have them all pointed the same direction so it locks in one side and the other side pops in and it holds it nice, nice and snug on it. We're going to start towards the middle of the structure to, to get it going. So remember these panels are 23 and 5 eighths long. I'm going to get my measuring tape and uh, measure from the side to know how long that panel is. So it would be 23 and 5 eighths and then we'd be a little bit more to put these clips on. So a little bit over an inch. So you'd be like 24 and an eighth inch. Uh, where we're going to put these clips, but it really depends on how you put these first clips on. Now, since we're going to put the panel in that way, this is the side where the panel fits in beneath it. So, basically, we use our pancake head screws, and we just start attaching the clips. So, uh, I've pre-measured these, and I'll start putting in the clips. And there is three holes for the clips. All you need is two. Okay, so we got the clips all down on this side. Uh, again, we're going to start with the sheet right here. So we start with the sheet in the middle of the structure. All the clips are facing the same way. What I needed to do uh, for the size of the structure itself, since we're going to have to trim this outside edge, when we uh, secure it down later, is measure all these to the holes of 24 and a quarter inches. So now that really depends on, especially since this is a small structure, where you would want to start your sheet in the middle. Of course, you could take your uh, your 23 and 5 eighths and multiply it out to get to the middle of the structure and then work your way out from there. Uh, if it's square structure, again, start from the side. You can just screw in the side, put it in here. So now that I have all the clips put in at that proper dimension, what I'm gonna do is fit this one sheet that we already have prepped and ready to go into the clips. So you just wiggle it in there and it fits right under the, the wing on those clips. And then we're gonna measure the bottom to make sure we have that one inch overhand. Uh, 
so we actually hit it perfect when I put it on right there. Now I'm going to put these other screws to where you can see how it's really easy to put these on where the screw holes show on. So if we're putting them on the same way, like we had that one, you take the one with the wings that fold down and you pop it over the side of the sheet. And you just hold it tight. Get your drill. Again, there's three holes. You only need two. And then just start screwing them down. So now that we have the clips on both sides of the first sheet that we put down uh, and we've got the second one uh, prepped, I've got the clips in. So basically I just take this next sheet and slide it into the clips to where it fits under it. Make sure that your flute covers line up at the bottom so you have that same one inch overhang. And then basically we do the same thing on this side with the, with the clips. And sometimes they might hit a, a screw head. So just make sure they wiggle in there before you start screwing everything down. And you can kind of push it in as you go. So now we just do the same thing with the, uh, the clips on this way. Slide them on. So now that we have the two uh, middle sheets put down, we're going to work on our edge sheets. Now on the edge sheet, we don't use clips on the outside. We actually secure it using the U-profile. So it would go in like this, and then you wiggle it in underneath the, the clips, make sure it lines up, and then you figure out how much overlap you have. Now with this U-profile, you will see in the, the edge of it, there's a little rib that stops uh, the material coming in to where it gives it enough room to put the screw through So that's about a quarter inch So what I'm gonna do is take my measurement to what it needs to be the edge and take off a quarter inch of that So that way this is going to take the place of that when we screw it down So I'm just gonna measure to where that sheet needs to butt up And it measures 23 and a half So I'm gonna rip these panels down to 23 and a quarter from the edge and then when we put the U-profile on the edge, we can actually screw it down to the edge and have a nice, firm, flush fit uh, around both sides. Uh, so I'm going to cut those and install them. Alright, so now i got the two side sheets trimmed. Uh, before I do that, so I can uh, get the uh, connector cap on top, I'm going to go ahead and peel back this film. Uh, put on the connector cap since we won't have to mess with these inside sheets anymore and then we'll install the outside So this makes it a lot easier if you're on top of the structure uh, Taking these down so you don't have to Go back into the middle, but of course if you're on shade slats, you're perfectly fine Walking on this and then just if you are walking on it, you know, and there's not shade slats You just do it right there where the uh, The supports are And you can crawl all over this thing And then we have our connector cap pre-cut to the, the length uh, from the flute to the flute. And basically we just line it up. And then you just start popping it on. The rubber mallet helps you a lot. And you just work 
make your way down. So then you have your connector cap on, so you can kind of see how these first two panels will look with that connector cap on. Uh, now we're going to start on this edge sheet. So on this edge, we're going to wait to put the, uh, the flute covers on until we get uh, this piece laid down, figure out what the measurement is, but we're going to go ahead and peel back the bottom film so I can lay it on the structure. So this is the gray film again, and I'm going to go ahead and peel this off. All right, so now we got the, uh, the side sheet put up. We got the flute covers on the ends. Uh, now the way you secure the side of the sheet is with uh, the longer piece of U profile. So we got this trimmed to size. Uh, now you don't have to put vent tape on the sheet where you cut it down because that's a, flute, a closed side of the, the flute, it's not open. So it stops, so you don't have to put vent tape. It makes it a little bit easier to put the U profile on. Uh, we measured this, we had to trim the flute covers a little bit, so that way it's gonna match up, just like you see on the end over here to where uh, it, it lines up perfectly on the end. We have some little covers that you got in there. So right now I'm gonna put this in and then you put the short side on the top and there's a line right here and this line serves as a guideline for where you're gonna run the screw once this is put in onto the wood. So you don't have the screw going through the sheet, you have it going into the wood. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this metal on. Work your way down, it helps. Uh, sometimes you need to back it up and kind of squeeze it a little bit to fit it in. Yep. All right, so now We've got the U-profile on the edge, and like I said earlier, this U-profile is going to drill directly into the wood frame. Uh, so make sure that the material is in the clips, and then we're just going to go down and drill it into place. Uh, we trimmed the U-profile at the end so it's nice clean, and then we have some covers we're going to come back on and make sure, uh, make sure they're in the right spot. So again, it's clips in the middle, and then it is the U profile on the top. What I'm going to go ahead and do before I screw this down is get this top connector in so that way it kind of holds the sheet for me since we measured it. So I'm going to go ahead and take off the tape. see that little grooved line where we're going to run these screws into the side of the structure. So again, it's just right on the top and we'll use our two inch X head wood screws and we'll just run down the side. Alright, so now we're going to screw down the edge of the sheet. Remember the only spot there's screws is on the edges, which is the sides of the structure. Because the food's going this way open, we're going to run screws in through the U profile and that only goes on the edge. And you keep them to the edge so that way they don't go through the uh, machine itself. Everything into place, and we're just going to screw the edge. And remember, the screws just. 
just go through the edge of your profile, not through the sheet. Every 36 inches, so about every three feet. All right, so now we've got it done. Now I'm going to come back and add some of the little clear caps in the connectors and it's just hide some of the open spots. So on the top of the connector caps we have little clear covers that just pop into the edge. So they'll just pop in and that way it kind of protects from anything getting inside these connector caps. And they just pop in really easy kind of gives it a finished look and then i have some plugs that you can put into the end of the u profiles and they just squeeze right in so it gives it a nice flat finish and we'll put those on all four corners <coughs> Now we got the last sheet up. So again, just a quick recap. We started with the middle sheet. You can start with the end. Just make sure you put those caps or the clips straight whenever you first start it out. Uh, and then you just work yourself over. So just make sure you have a square structure because once you lay those clips, there's no way to bend the sheet. Uh, again, we put it on a uh, like a purlin based or a stripping based pergola. These are spaced perfectly, but up to 36 inches. And you want to clip at least every 36 inches and at the ends. Uh, so this is the way it would look whenever it is completed. Of course, you would have uh, your pergola and no screws through the center of the sheet. You just have the clips. Pop the sheets in, put on the connector caps, and then put on your U profile. Screws only go through the U profile to hold the side. So this is uh, our premium, premium version uh, installed, completed, and done. Thank you so much for your time.